Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, Spencer. Or, you know, the day after Christmas, I guess. Or a couple days after. Eh, happy holidays. Hey all you, come watch me play, even though you're right there and I'm miles away. Hey Spencer, hope you had a great day. Now let's play, you're cool. Alright Spencer, been a while since I played the game for you, and this time I'm going to be playing League of Legends. Had to use the uh, monitor capture because it uses a couple different windows, wasn't able to figure out how to do a bunch of things at the same time. So anyway, it'll work this way. Just ignore all the stuff on the sides. Okay, so let's get right into a game. Well, nah, we could look around a little bit. For anybody unfamiliar with League of Legends, it's a game uh, called a MOBA, sort of like Overwatch, multiplayer online battle arena. Choose different champions, or heroes head in there and uh, do some strategy to beat the other players but recently I've just been playing against robots so that's what I'm gonna do today I'm gonna play a nice intermediate game with some robots because I don't want to get stressed out while trying to just do a fun episode I want some Christmas spirit So I'm going to tell everybody I want to do the support role because I just want to play Bard. Bard always makes me happy. Especially my Christmas Bard skin. Look at him with his hot cocoa and his little penguins and his happy face. So fluffy. Oh man. So, I've been playing League of Legends for about two years now, and I am not good at all, but around a year ago, I was playing it very often, um, and I was playing a lot of Snow Day Bard because the skin had just come out, and I don't know, uh, whenever I play this character, I just don't get that stressed out in the games because I'm just making hot cocoa, having a good time. He's a very cute character and it makes me enjoy the game more. Um, Blizzard made their own MOBA, Heroes of the Storm, but I don't really play it as much even though it seems to me to be the better game. Uh, just because I've become really attached to a lot of the characters in League of Legends. Um, I, I've never played a ranked game. I'm very bad at the game. I, I've been trying to improve, but ever since Overwatch came out, I just haven't been playing League very much, and so my skill has gone down a lot from back in the spring when I was playing it all the time. Um, so... With that in mind, I've just been sticking to bot games to get the first win of the days for bonus IP, uh, which are points that you spend on getting the champions. Unfortunately, you don't start with the champions, you have to buy them with their in-game currency. So you don't have to spend any money on this game, uh, though I've spent quite a bit. I don't know, it, it, it was a game that made me want to spend money when I was playing a lot. It's fun to play with friends. And the art team, I think, is just fantastic. And the cool little stories they come up for all the characters in the world, I really enjoy the little bits. And they're trying to get more into their lore now, publishing out short stories and stuff, and that's been really cool. I enjoy that. But as for the strat and esports, I've probably mentioned a couple times that I watch uh, the competitive professional players play this game and that's made me try to become understand like sports people a bit more it's really fun to watch the esports of league of legends but i don't know i, I don't think i'm ever going to be uh good enough or put enough time into this game to really uh play it super competitively but i don't think that that detracts from my experience of the game. I think 
it's fine to just have my characters I enjoy come in and play the game once in a while. And it's all good. Let's see. So, once the game loads up, you'll be able to see the strategy. Spencer, you've played a couple games with me. Uh, so, you've, you're kind of familiar with how the game works. Alright, and they changed the map up to be all Christmassy this year. So I'm excited to play in the snow. The Christmassy music. Everything's great. All right, let's head down. Wish everybody uh, have a merry snow down and a happy new year and a good game. So you can see the map down over here, my teammates, these are my abilities that I'm able to use. As Bard, I get little chimes that spawn on the map that I can go and collect that boost up my basic attacks. But I have these little penguins following me. There's some fog of war where we can't see into the enemy area. So that involves a lot of strategy. I'm not going to go too far into details of how to play the game. Um. <laughs> Don't mind me, just having a snowball fight. You what, mate? Bam, suck it. Come at me. Alright. Oh, Quirky is helping out the jungle, so one person on the team usually kills all these monsters in the middle areas. But the uh, bit heavy damage dealer and a supportive character go in the bot. And so I'm just trying to harass the enemy team so that my friend can get uh, the last hit before these minions die, because that's what gets him gold, which will get him better items, which will make him do more damage so that we can beat them. And so I've got this one move that will freeze people if I hit them and a wall, or them and another person. So I try to... There we go. Help my friend get a kill. My W. Puts down some hot cocoa. I'll be ready in a little bit. And he can, anybody on my team can walk over that and get healed for a little bit. And so the goal of the game is just to take down a series of towers until we can reach in their base and take down this enemy nexus. And with each of the characters, they have little emotes you can do. Oh, let me help them out. So if it doesn't hit another thing, it just slows them. It doesn't freeze him. Um, one thing I want to do as support is place 
wards down to give vision so that we can see in places where we aren't at the moment. Um, but against bots, they're not going to be doing any surprise moves, so... Vision is not as important in this game. And freeze. These are items over here, and that's the gold I'm accumulating, so after a little bit, I'll be able to go back to the shop in my base and buy some stuff. I've also got these uh, abilities that anybody can have um, that allow me to jump a short distance to get away and to teleport to a place on the map. I don't know, I really enjoy games when they do Christmas events. It's just adds such a level of magic and wonder and makes it feel like a real world when, you know, seasons change and stuff like that. I'm gonna take some time to go get some of the chimes. Oh, I'll place down some more healing spots. Gotta have the cocoa. My E is I can make a little... Oh, wow, I, I really messed that up. Um, I'll do it when it comes back up in a second. I'll leave him some cocoa too. So yeah, I can make a little magical journey going along. buy some stuff. Yeah, let's do that. My little guy's built a snowman. I don't know, it's the little things about this game that make me really like it. So I'm teleporting in. Okay. Oh, I missed that. And we crushed them, because that is how robot games go. Killing spree. Yeah, the tower will shoot you if you don't have minions underneath it. But look at my penguins! Okay, and look what I can do. Let's see. Do a little dance. Look at that! <gasps> Adorable. Alright, so they're gonna come after me, but too bad. Wow, 
Wait, where'd Fizz go? What? Did he die? No. How do you get away so quickly? Huh. That's weird. Thought for sure I'd be able to kill him. Oh well. Oh dear. Returning to base also heals you. There's also a dragon right here that you can kill for a different type of uh, boost to your team. Unstoppable. Oh, there it goes by. Oh. Kill them without me. They grow up so fast. Look at the little Poro in there. Poros are these cute little fluffy guys in the game. Like him right there. Can't decide if the penguins or the Poros are cuter. Tried to give the kill to him, but he didn't take it. Let's go check on Cassidin in the mid lane. He's good. Get the chimes. Some cocoa there. See, it's just a really chill time. Let's see, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I can do a little jokey dance thing. Very cool. And... Legendary. I can sing a song! Oh wait, I missed the bow. Get these guys out from under the tower. Alright, and freeze! Right there. Ah, oh, almost got him. Just a little bit off to the left. Enjoy your cocoa! Alright. 
Looks like they're gonna push mid, so I'll go join them. I'll put some vision down. I could teleport to where I need to go next, but I'd rather go get all the chimes. They show up as the yellow squigglies. What's up, people? Can't catch me? Walking in a winter wonderland. In the middle, you can kill Cassie. I couldn't think of any other lyrics. Okay. Let's go, team. Oh, they took a turret over there. No matter. He dies. A little bit. Come on, and Yeah, even though I don't play League of Legends too often anymore, millions, millions of people do, and I love it for 
It's colorful characters. It's uh, sort of timeless, strategic, uh, entertainment value. Rampage. It's commitment to constantly trying to please the fans and listen to things they really want. Here you can see how many we've got 41 kills, they've got 7. I've only died once, killed 2 people, assisted with 3 other kills. And it's been going on for 21, 22 minutes. Bard is one of my favorite characters, but my favorite, favorite, favorite is definitely Jinx. Like, if Jinx existed in Overwatch, I'd never play any other character in any other game. She's just the best. And discovering, playing her was really what got me into League of Legends. Like, I thought it was okay for a game, but then when I found the characters that I really like to play, uh, that's when it became... one of my favorites. But it's, it's pretty, uh, not particularly friendly to new players, and that there's just so much going on, so many characters at this point, and because, you know, millions and millions of people play it, uh, the probability that you'll get somebody with not the best attitude in one of your games is pretty high, so sometimes player base can come off as uh, very salty. So uh, when you reach the end of the lane, you take down the turret, and behind it is an inhibitor. And when you get rid of that, you start getting these big minions, and they help take things down faster. So if you do that for multiple lanes, then you've got a ton of minions to help take down these towers. What's up, chocolate? Yeah, it's okay. Let's 
Let's go get him, Corky. Oh, wow. Well, there's everybody. Favorite shades of blue. So fun playing and warm. I miss the snow. I miss having some cold weather. This makes warmer feel so much more comforting. Yikes. Sion is the one enemy that's giving most of their kills, so I'll probably build some armor. An enemy has been slain. Shut down. But we got their inhibitor, so that's good. I can res in nine seconds. Go over there. Looks like Vi wants to get dragon. That'll just give us movement speed. I don't think we really are craving for that at this point. No, no. Came over here to help me, you. Don't run away. Alright. I'll just ADC, AD, attack damage carry. I can do that. Put rocks in the snowballs. We don't have to take down all the three outer turrets, but we are just for a clean, easy victory since we can. Oh, looks like they're going for that. Oh, both those turrets. Okay. Um, guess I'll get over there and help. Alright, time to help kill this thing. Whee! Ooh, missed. Oh no. Alright, and get out of here. No! And run, run, run! The enemies can also use my tunnels. And in that case, I'm able to stun them right after they come out. Mm, no, I don't need to go all the way back to spawn. Because we win! Thanks, Cassidy. Alright. That was a very chill example of League of Legends, but... Yeah, the game that's very dear to my heart, and I hope you have a very merry uh, Christmas and a happy new year, Spencer. All right. Bye. Thanks.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, or else I just might die.